y'all. So lastly, I'm gonna pull from my Love Oracle deck. And all I did was shuffle. I saw Selena Gomez say her name a couple times and four cards just flew the fuck out of my deck and hit the floor. So you know Spirit trying to talk. And look, hmm. Uh, these four cards just appeared, okay? Number one, a new love. She got a new love coming. She dates around. I'm getting a sense that she... I mean, she was dating Chris Evans, whatever. So she dates around. It's not like she's just cooped up in her house and shit. She's busy as fuck, but she, she dates around. But she definitely got a new love coming, y'all. Music. They might connect over music. She could date a musician. Let me find out she date another fucking another, another rapper or some shit. She need to date a black guy. <laughs> but she really want Justin, but she's still trying to get over him, y'all. Toxic relationship. This is what she's used to. This is her and Justin. It still has, like I said, she still has some baggage over that. It still has a hold over her in some way when it comes to love. Ghosted. I feel like, not that she feels like she's ghosted, but I feel like she ghosts people that she knows that she's not going to be with. Like, she's like, oh, yeah, we're not going to, um, I don't see myself, like, taking it further with you. I'm just going to stop talking to you. Or just, you know, focus on my work and not say nothing and be distant until you lose interest. I feel like she's that type. That's what I'm getting. What else, spirit? What messages do you have about Selena Gomez's love life? What else she got going on in her love life? Girl? Finances. Ooh. That song by Sweetie just popped in my head. A rich nigga. That's what I like. That's my type, nigga. That's what <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She go digger. But she ain't messing with no man. Fear. She's afraid to fall in love again. And I don't blame her, especially after the shit Justin pulled on her ass. She afraid to love again. She needs to not date somebody in the industry. She needs to date like a banker or some shit or a psychologist or some shit. But she's afraid, y'all. Third party. This is how she was when she was with Justin. And other people too. I feel like she got cheated on a lot. Or she was a she's a side woman. She because a lot of men be cheating, especially in Hollywood. I feel like she's been the side piece for a lot. A lot of, you know. Not a lot, but a few times. And she may have known about it and just not give a fuck, but she's definitely been involved in third-party situations before. Healing. Then come through, spirit. Come through. I said this shit. I said I feel like she needs to heal herself. She needs to go through some shadow work because she hasn't fully recovered from that shit. And it popped out. So if you need, um, how you say it? About how tarot readers and shit, how we begin, like, a lot of times we just be knowing shit already. Especially with me already, I'm an empath, so I just be feeling shit. Um, I think it's called Claire Seastance or something, whatever. Well, you just, like, know shit. I be knowing stuff already, and I just use the cards for confirmation. Where I be having feelings about shit, and then it'd be right. I thought I said this shit. You can rewind, okay? She need a, she need a, therapy is not enough. She need to do shadow work. To heal from this, or she's never gonna have a happy, loving life because she still is not trapped, but she's still dealing with emotional baggage from her ex. Legal matters. She might be dealing with someone who's married who has to get a divorce first. Don't be the other woman, Selena. Don't do that. I mean, but if he paying you, then shit. <laughs> not that you need money, but shit. The grass is greener on the other side. I feel like she, remember I said she was jealous or envious? I feel like this has to do with that. But Selena, the grass isn't greener on the other side. It might look like the grass is greener, but she never know what people be going through to the um, behind closed doors. So she see this, I hope she do. Text messages. Someone's gonna try to get with her through text. It might be like a sneaky link. I don't know why I'm getting Chris energy from the shit, but someone is gonna try to hit her up or they have been hitting her up. But I'm feeling like they don't, it's not, they don't have good intentions, whoever it is. I feel like they got a person already. They're just trying to fuck. Home. 
I don't know. She always home, or I man, she never home, or maybe she's been thinking about. Then she got that ten of cups when she wants to settle down and build a family, but it's like she can't. It's like blocked. There's some blockages here with her love life. It's because she was in a toxic relationship and she has to heal from that shit. Okay, this is still having an effect on her. Okay. So this is Miss Selena Gomez's reading. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, if you're not subscribed, girl, subscribe to my channel. Share this shit on Facebook, Instagram. <laughs> um, message me who you want readings from. I do not mind. Be respectful. I don't disrespect y'all, so don't disrespect me. Don't fucking try me. Um, and yeah, if you want to send me some money, my cash app is in my, um, my bio. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Eww.